It was amazing. It's absolutely superb. Everybody was so happy. It's an art and it's a wonderful art. The excitement and the buzz and the whole atmosphere was one of enjoyment. And I'd just like to say two things. Firstly, how generous Allah has been tonight and what a good party we're all having. restaurant recently won the Nadim Zahawi Independent Restaurant Award. In 2014, when uh, uh, we in Westminster sat together and thought about what we could do for independent businesses, because if you're an independent business and you survived the great crash of 2008 and got through all the way 2014, we thought you really needed to be recognized, and that's where the awards came from. We're going to repeat them in 2016, so get nominating when the nominations open. Um, of course, Aladdin and Allah, um, you received more votes, more nominations than any other independent restaurant in Stratford on Air. Anybody that puts as much into the community that Ella does, it needs celebrating. So it's the 20th anniversary of, of him being in business and uh, he's won this wonderful award. And I think everybody's so excited about the evening. There's lots of people coming that I know. It's raising lots of funds for two very good local charities. So I think it's going to be a really good night. <laughs> Tillington is a remarkable village with some remarkable people. We came, we moved into this area and Tillington was one of the villages between our home and Stratford. I've watched the Laddins grow over the last 20 odd years and become just an amazing establishment with an amazing owner. It was the, uh, the best sort of organised and well run party. You'd imagine that there was only 45 people here, everything was like clockwork. The fact there was 450, Allah was just unbelievable, well, and his team obviously, were just unbelievable. It was just, it was, it was amazing. I think that a lot of the people I didn't know, but 400 people in this area are not likely to know. But it was so good to see so many people all enjoying themselves. Allah's very welcoming. The place is always in great shape. Uh, the food's excellent. Uh, and he always puts an awful lot into the community, which I think is, which is, which is fantastic really. Um, but um, didn't have the lovely village obviously, he's been here many many years which obviously is testament to obviously his food and the restaurant so it's, it's, uh, it's something good to be a part of really I think. I've lived in Tiddington for um, about 12 years. Uh, Aladdin's is our local Indian restaurant, serves fabulous food uh, and we've been coming here for as long as we've lived here. Tiddington is part of my uh, ward. I am the district, county and town councillor for um, um, Alveston Ward and this is part of my ward. Um, I always promote local business, always try and encourage people to go to local businesses here and I think this is probably one of the best restaurants in the West Midlands. Um, 
I came in here one evening for dinner with my family and uh, got into a conversation with Alla where we talked about um, Alla's uh, desire to do something for the community where he had recently won the uh, Nadim Sahawi's Best Restaurant 2015 award. For two decades, and when we won the award, I felt it would be an appropriate time to show my appreciation for my good fortune and try and pay some, some of it forward back into the community that has shown me such support and welcome. That is where the idea for this evening was born. He was obviously very buoyant with his victory and he wanted to pay his good fortune forward and so we sat and we had a chat about the different ways that he could facilitate that. He was very keen to support the local community and the slightly wider community and um, between us we threw some ideas around and he was very keen to support the local primary school um, of which I'm the chair of governors so I did have a vested interest. Um, and the local hospital, which he already was, uh, had in his mind to do. Good fortune should be shared, passed on to those that need, need it and those that can really use it. Many of you here tonight have links with Alverston Primary School. Yay! And we'll no doubt agree that a good education is vital to provide children with the right platform to maximise their potential. Together we came up with a theme of pay it forward rather than, uh, it would have been very easy for Allah to pay back the people that had voted him into his success in terms of the um, independent restaurant award. Um, but he felt it was more important uh, or more valid, valuable to pay it forward um, to those that perhaps were less fortunate or more in need and could do something with the funds that he would raise from his evening. So what we're going to do is we're going to play heads and tails. There's 450 people here tonight, which is fantastic. If everybody paid just five pounds, if you'd like to donate more than fantastic, but just five pounds will be fantastic. That means that we are straight away, we're raising an extra 2,000 pounds tonight in a few seconds, which is brilliant. What Allah has done here is above and beyond in many ways. It was remarkable, the evening we had here. Truly remarkable. Are you ready? Brrr. Go for it, Allah. Heads! Heads! So all those, Mr B, you've let me down. I wanted that £400. My job um, was to sell the raffle tickets. So I spent possibly about two hours walking round the room selling raffle tickets. I sold nearly £3,000 of the raffle tickets, which I'm very proud of. You know, I was invited to it. I thought I was going to turn up to maybe a restaurant full of people. I'll, I'll say a few words you know, of encouragement um, and, and walk away. I got here and there were, I think, three or four marquees attached to this. 450 people. The whole community came out, came together. Heads! Congratulations. And the amount of giving um, that, that took place was extraordinary and I'm so proud to be the Member of Parliament um, for Stratford-on-Avon. What's your name? Breda. Breda's won £400 voucher for Howard's and... Anthea. Anthea has won a beautiful plant. Beautiful plant. Thank you very much. Yeah. He's, he's a member of the local community uh, and it's been amazing, I have to say, that the amount of support he has had for this event, for somebody to be able to open up their restaurant and then have 450 people that want to come along to a charity evening is a real recognition of him as an individual and his standing within the community. He's got support from all quarters um, for, for tonight and for this appeal. It's, the money we're raising is specifically for the developments that we're putting into Stratford Town. And again, it's been an incredible project to be part of. There's not many projects you do where everywhere you go, people want to support you. It's lunch for two and a trip round the House of Commons 
on a date to be agreed with Nadim. I don't know whether you can do a Wednesday and possibly do Prime Minister's questions. There we are, we're twisting his arm a bit, but um, I'm sure he would, I'm sure he would. So there it is, lunch for two. Good day out down in London, House of Commons. Hopefully, Prime Minister's questions tickets as well. Two people and a trip around the Palace of Westminster. Couldn't be better, couldn't be better. So who will start this off at 100 pounds? 100 at 100, 50. 150. 200, sir? It's your partner. It's, it's wearing that hat, you know. You just stand out from the crowd a bit. Yeah. What, are we, what are we in at? 150, I think. 150. I'll take 200 now. 200. At 200, you're, all, you're both out now. At 200, the lady over there. At 200, I'll take 250. 250. 300, yes? 300. 350. 350. 350. 400. At 350, it's right down in front of me here. 400, sir. At, remember, this is going to buy computer equipment for those children at Elveston School. 400. At 400, I've got 450. 450. You're out now, sir. 500 pound. 550. Once in a lifetime, 550. It's going to have to be Prime Minister's question time. 600. At 600. I'll take 650 now if you like. We're in at six. At 600 pounds. At 600 pounds, this is for lunch, Prime Minister's question time, and a trip around the Palace of Westminster at 600 pounds. Anyone else interested? At 600 pounds it's gonna go. First, second, third time, sold. Thank you very much. absolutely delighted obviously to have been chosen uh, and to think that Allah thinks that we are an important that education and Alveston school are important causes um, and also really um, humbled and proud because we're, you know he's put us on a par with that really um, important um, eye hospital and cancer unit in Stratford so yes it's it's wonderful that he's done that now the last two made 550 pounds so we've set the pattern we've set the value I'm just going to see who's going to choose, just the choice of the buyer. So, who will start these off? A couple of hundred. At 100, 100 I've got 250. At a couple of hundred, right down at the bottom there, 250 if you like. 250? I'm in at 200 at the moment. Take the four. 250? 250. 300, sir? He's gone. He's gone. 300? No. At 250, the bidding's here. At 250, I'll take three. Shh. At 250, 300 bid. At 300 bid. 350, sir. Ooh. 325. At 325, you're going to be servicing my car next week. At 325 pounds. At 325, you're walking away. 350, you'll do it. At 325, at 325 pounds. Are you all done at 325? Sold to the same buyer. Thank you. Well, I just think it's a, it's, it's, it's a great thing. And I, I, I like the notion of a, of a distinguished restaurant um, that celebrates its anniversary and wants to promote and help raise money for a couple of really worthy local charities. Uh, so when I heard that that was going on, I was very keen to do what, which wasn't difficult, just sign a few photographs and make uh, for those charities a bit of money. They were um, signed Star Wars memorabilia, which uh, I'm lucky enough to uh, know people from Star Wars. So while I was out in Los Angeles, I asked Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher if they'd sign things specifically for for the event, and they were more than happy to do it. So it was uh, a very easy thing to bring along for Ella to. Uh, to auction off. I look around my restaurant now and I see so many familiar faces. Yet another demonstration of how supportive and generous this community is. I extend a warm welcome also to our distinguished guests of honour. I will keep this brief, I promise. <laughs> my company, we're doing what we can to give apprenticeships to children, to, to youngsters and work experience, particularly with those underprivileged children, um, those that maybe haven't got 
the uh, advantages that everybody else has got. So over the past few weeks since the fundraiser here, we've taken on a work experience girl, we have looked to take on an apprentice, um, we've sponsored the award ceremony at Stratford College, do what we can to make sure that the, the up and coming teenagers in Stratford have as much of a chance of making it a success as everybody else in Stratford has done. Through, through the shop Retro Rebel, we're constantly sort of doing um, anything we can for certain charities. Uh, and we support um, a lot of days, um, like the Family Day at Stratford Racecourse, which is happening this year even. Um, and we're giving away goodie bags to all the kids that turn up. So we, um, we try and give as much as, much as possible and you hope um, it comes back and most people, most people will appreciate it. So. Um, we don't promote them individually. We have several charities that we promote. Um, but any good cause obviously for the communities or communities uh, is obviously very, very important. Um, I think in the world today, obviously there's an awful lot of charities out there, but we have to select obviously a few that we can go with. Otherwise, you know, you, you could be, you know, sort of donating to charities all the time. You choose the ones that are suitable to yourself. So then this is one that we're quite happy to support. So. My wife and I, uh, my wife runs a business in Stratford, which is Foster Frame, and uh, she often contributes charitably to different organizations whether it's picture framing or whatever it may be. So uh, we do give to individual charities on a, I would say on a fairly regular basis, but we don't have a particular one, but we support, support a number. Yeah. Thank you to Saul Vigils, Ali Gray and Debbie Seaborn and their teams who have worked voluntarily and tirelessly alongside me to ensure that this evening goes without a hitch. <laughs> to my own staff as well as for their continuous support, effort and support over the years. Not just for this evening and of course to Sally B for being hosting the evening. Thank you very much. And lastly, but by no means least, I want to thank each and every person in this room. Without your generosity and community spirit, this, this evening would not have been possible. I am humbled by your kindness and look forward to hosting you and your friends and families in the years to come. Well, I support a number of charities locally. Um, Shakespeare Hospice is, is very dear to me and I have already uh, pledged, this isn't something that um, I've necessarily publicised too much, but I've pledged that the, the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, this is the independent authority that decides my wages, my wage packet in Parliament, has decided, they're still consulting and, and looking at it for the last time, but they're, they're, they're going to give a sort of quite a big hike in, 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 uh, in wages to, to MPs, about 11%, which I think is, is um, badly timed. I think it's the wrong time. When we're asking the public sector um, to live with a 1% increase for the next four years, I think it, it, it just, I don't think it's right. So I've already pledged to uh, give my 
uh, uh, increase to the Shakespeare Hospice. I try to support them um, as much as I can. I fully support it and if uh, I was in a position to uh, financially support, which I do many charities, uh, but the giving is it's an art and it's a wonderful art. It's massively important. I think it's, uh, it should be done more often. Um, if people just spent a little time for every good deed, it's so easy to put a smile on somebody's face and uh, it's very easy to, to do things for people without needing anything back. So I think pay it forward is uh, one of the most important things. I think it's very important, but I think that you don't have to wait for it to happen to you to do it for yourself. I mean, we're great believers in, um, I'm very thankful for what I've got, for how I've been treated. Um, and the, the idea to me is not to wait until someone does you a good favour, to pass it on, to pass it forward, to pay it forward. It's to actually, we always think about day to day, what can we do to help people, especially youngsters. We're great, Steph and I are very much into helping youngsters. You can do it by something very, very small, like helping a neighbour or giving an old person a lift into town when they've missed the bus. Or you can do an amazing fundraiser where we've just raised so much money for two incredible charities. Um, the Year Sixes, for example, have just been on a residential trip and we've had um, a charity who has given us a, a small amount of funding that we've used to help families who found it difficult to pay the full amount um, for it. And so following that trip, rather than just sending a thank you letter, which is important in itself, uh, the children have actually written uh, an outline of all the activities that they did and how grateful they are for the money and how um, that charity has helped to support them to get the best memories in their lives, is what they've said. So that's really touching, I think, and important for children to say thank you, as well as adults. The very next day after the charity event, I went to a meeting uh, with the Citizens Advice Bureau. Um, I am a trustee board member of the Citizens Advice Bureau and they are a charity. And I arranged um, a quiz evening to be held in September, which my husband and I will be running. So that is an element of paying it forward to another charity. Um, and I've been helping a friend of mine who had meningitis. I Every fortnight I go and clean for her. I gave a friend and her daughter who'd broken her ankle and they were waiting at the bus stop. I turned round, even though it was the wrong direction, and drove them into town and then went back to where I was originally hidden. What we've done is we've taken the menu um, and the itinerary from this evening and there's people really who have put tonight on have been signing it throughout the night. We've given that to Allah. No doubt it will be on the wall of fame within 24 hours for everybody to come watch when they next come down here. Thank you very much, Allah. And that's it from us, so you're going to enjoy the rest of your evening. I think we should do another three cheers for Alan for his birthday. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! hip, hip. Thank you very, very much and enjoy the rest of your evening. Won't you come on over? Balle 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 bal